We're very fortunate that the uh, town allowed us to purchase the automatic external defibrillators, also known as AEDs. We were able to place the units all through the town in the uh, most convenient areas and have access, quick, quick access uh, to the units. Uh, we were able to place them in City Hall, through the ballparks, in the SOAC building, inside the uh, event center and also through the sewer plant and uh, multiple other areas in the city. We also installed the uh, AED units inside the uh, front line of the fire department and police department units. By having the units in place, uh, you increase the survival rate. Uh, by not having those units, you decrease their survival rate by 7 to 10 percent. The unit itself is always ready to go. If you walk up to a unit and you see a red light, it indicates there's some issue with it. But if you see a green light, it's ready to go and always uh, available for you. The maintenance occurs monthly. Uh, through me, I will go out and check the units, make sure the uh, pads are in date. They actually carry two sets of pads. They have an infant pad and also an adult set of pads. I uh, check the pads, make sure they're in date, there's no issues with them. I uh, check the battery, make sure there's no corrosion. Also make sure the unit is serviceable and in proper working function. The unit itself does a daily check and a weekly check internally and runs the whole program through the system. The unit is meant for anybody to use. They don't have to be uh, trained with them. It's recommended, but you don't have to be trained with them because uh, it lays everything out for you. It actually walks you through from, from the beginning of opening the lid. As soon as you open the lid up, in any case, pull the pads out place the pads, it actually has a picture on the pads where to place them. It tells you every step by step what you're going to do through the process of using the AAD. Firmly place the pad without the blue plastic on patient's bare chest, exactly as shown on pads. If you don't feel comfortable, ask questions. Call and ask questions about the AED. I do recommend that you take the training. It will make you more comfortable. Uh, when you're out in the public, if you have to do CPR or use an AED. When you're out in the public, look around and try to locate where these AEDs are because you can go to schools, they'll be at schools, they'll be in the mall, there'll be a lot of places you don't recognize, you never realize they even had one. You need to look around and know your environment. That way, in case there is an incident, you can react and get the AED and start the process of the chain of command.